much love do you need? How much love to believe? How much love do you need to feel? How much time to heal? Even though you might think this silence is a hiding place. Your eyes seem to cry in a voice that defies time and space. I watched you fall from the clouds you thought might carry you away from this unavoidable pain. Now you're back in my arms again. And how much love do you need? What do I need to know? These are the times, these are the times where all ideologies, all belief systems, all that has come from the outer world to inform humanity is colliding. All of the systems in which humanity has relied upon religiously is suspect now. What do you choose? What do you rely upon now? We have been offering these messages, preparing humanity for this intersection. It is upon you now. It has been over the course of, let us say, a few decades. But this is the culmination time now where it all merges. Who is right? Who is wrong? Which is the best approach for managing humanity? 
These are the arguments now. These are the wars that occur out of view for humanity has been kept distracted quite successfully and we have referred to this time as the choosing time one is either aware of their connection to their creator to the truth of their being and to this guidance or one is not and one continues to make choices based on data they are being given from a source that they feel aligned with that they resonate with resonance is about vibration resonance is not a good or bad it is simply resonance based on perceptions the abilities to sense the abilities to perceive love if one cannot perceive love if love is an abstract concept then you are easily manipulated for love is the glue is the field of the universe of your source creator if you do not believe in love then you are currently making choices to further lock yourself in to realities that will continue to feed back to you what you believe it is a looping we have spoken of this many 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 times or you have the choice of recalling this love in your feeling capacities recalling what this feels like in your bodies recalling your abilities as a result so resonating with love and no matter where one is in their awareness in their frequency they may still choose love but it does require greater and greater degrees of faith and trust now for many many of the populations across the globe have continued to choose or defer to what they were indoctrinated within simply not being aware that there is another choice so all of these decades of time of distracting humanity from their core essence from the truth of their being in order to perpetuate a reality where those in power continue to be in power and continue to enjoy lives and lifestyles that are materially fulfilling for them but it is the power that is the draw let us say 
for these smaller populations of humanity. The resources that they have access to have been pumped into manipulating the masses. But that is the past. Choices have been made. It is not a hard and fast line. It is not that humans cannot suddenly have an inspiration or suddenly have an experience that helps them to reorient to their feeling nature and their connectivity with the cosmos, their connectivity with their creator. It is still possible. So what do we have to offer at this moment, this crossroads in time? Those who have made the choice to further connect within. And this pathway within is their connectivity to the universe, to the universal language, to primal source. Again, we must reiterate that your imagination, as it is in this moment, in this day, in this timing, will not be able to envision what life is like as a sovereign being as an awakened being, what does life look like on planet Earth as one of these awakened whole beings? You do not have the capacity, the awareness at this moment in time to fully imagine that, for you are not utilizing your capacities. You have fragmented vision and fragmented senses all around. So this is where trust comes in. You may receive feeling glimpses of this love. And this is your beacon. Our work is to help you feel this so that you may reorient to your feeling nature, where your source is and where your source guides. If you are still of an opinion, opting in, to a belief system, opting in to a false reality, then this will sound crazy. Even though we are speaking of love and we are speaking of your creator, it is not coming through for some in matching frameworks in matching stories, so it is rejected, it is disregarded, and this is part of your programming. 
what you have decided has been the right way through church, religion, what have you, even politics, education, all of these foundational systems, if you have been a good follower, then you will be allegiant to that and you will be taken to the next evolutionary step of giving over your intelligence, your power, your heart to something that does not have your best interests at heart. So there is a crisis for many now. Feeling the closing in. Perhaps there are some voices in the outer reality that have surfaced now that can be a guide for those who have resisted to the last moment, let us say. But again, this is usually this population's way of being okay with something because it does somewhat match their current beliefs. And as we have said in the past, you are not in a position now to be whole beings and to believe something. These do not go hand in hand. You do not need to believe in anything. It is knowing that is occurring now if you choose it. So those who have been seeing or feeling the discomforts of what is occurring in the outer world now have been more gradually realizing the all of what they have been given through these foundational systems has been for the very purpose of extracting and utilizing human energy We are not a group that goes too deeply into the stories and the characters of what has occurred. We are here specifically and very specifically to reorient you to your source creator, whereby you are then connected and you may stream this creative force into your reality. There is not, as you say, the time and space any longer to play around with these ideas, to have theories, to have debates. We have spoken of this in the past. You are here now and you are making these choices. Do you in actuality feel and know your source creator and align with the frequencies of this that is also, vibrationally speaking, what you are and what you may attune to? Or do you feel the draw or the deference to a reality that you have been indoctrinated within. We do not blame, we do not chastise, we do not judge. We simply offer love.
Understand that when you leave your bodies and you pass away or you die, there is a belief that you have escaped and that now you're with God. Now you are making that heaven-hell choice in the afterlife. There are many stories religiously around this that keep you entrained, that keep you looping even in the quote beyond. There is no such thing. There is deference to what is false or there is attunement and alignment with the truth no matter what your state of consciousness. So choosing this now, choosing this in a lucid state, is encouraged. For if you're Intelligence does not awaken here. And by this intelligence, we mean your wholeness, all that you have access to. You do not need to leave your body to have access to this. And in fact, if there is resistance to truth, if there is resistance to love, it will continue whether you have a body or not. And your choices as to what you will enter into and explore next with your eternal spiritual self will be based also on whether you feel connected to this love or not. Now, when you die, as you say, you will lose the body and the stories and identities from the past. So there is, in fact, an opening to receive and to feel more, as has been reported in near-death experiences. But your intention for this life and these lives on earth and in other realms as well, but we are focused on earth at this point in time. Your intention was to awaken to this in the denser realities, in this case, three-dimensional reality, to awaken to your multi-dimensional self. And to employ all of your capacities, if you choose, rather than only experimenting with the limited view and the limited spectrum of consciousness that has been provided to you by those who manipulate this realm and manipulate human consciousness. So, what we are saying is that the choice would be more than likely to return to the limitation and understand it would be greater degrees of limitation in this current timeline. So that perhaps with greater degrees of of feeling the walls close in, this awakening or this lucidity might be sparked and new choices made from within the density thereby changing the density 
and assisting others to see and to experience how this is done in a demonstrative way. So many of you are here at this timing to demonstrate transcending these limitations, transcending the programming. And at this timing, it has never been more accessible, your source, your prime source creator. And each individual may experience this directly if they choose. They must choose. Each individual. We cannot stress this enough. It is a yes to love. It is a yes to fulfilling this greater potentiality on earth. Your greater design that is in your physicality. Nothing new needs to occur here except healing and releasing of the traumas. Letting go, dissolving, transcending. So that one may be available to be infused by this source love and employed by this source love. But there is nothing that says that you must choose love. And that is why this choice lies within you. For there is free will with this choice. So again, this work is of a feeling nature. There are words and explanations in this way to guide lightly the mind, the predominant faculties that have been programmed in humanity. We understand that we must meet you with the mind in some way, on some level, in order to be visible, in order to be perceived. And just know that there is a time coming where this voice and other voices of this nature will not be as accessible to you in your outer world, perhaps in your communities, first hand, in physical proximity. But understand that this is why there is an emphasis now and in this moment including that this choice to find this voice within is important now so that you may feel connected and guided in these times of increasing chaos and confusion. You must rely upon what you trust and that is your choice as to what you trust. We thank you for your attention. We are here to assist, to support, to love you through this crossroads so that you may feel strengthened and you may feel purpose and you may grow in your abilities Feel the love that is available to you. And you will always feel empowered to move and to share with love. Good day. 
know you had a burning need to build a world with your own hands and I know you had to find where the edges lie in a man your will is taking you far from the heart into the darkness of every room and it's a clear-cut path to heaven back and I 